Well, I think the whole history of Christendom is, in a sense, a series of death and rebirth, of revival of different kinds over the centuries. And the faith of one generation, I think, quickly calcifies and becomes a sort of nominal cultural Christianity. But then you you have a, a Wesley or a Whitfield, or, a Wesley or a Whitfield, or, or or the Victorian revival, or whatever it is, to come and suddenly breathe new life into a nation or into a culture. And the revival, so revivals take many different forms. There are those sort of much more local forms, you know, the, the Welsh revival, mm-hmm. the Hebridean revival. But there are kind of general cultural revivals that happen as well. And and in a sense, I would say the Christian revolution was the first and prime example of that. It, it absolutely transformed the Western and Eastern worlds to, to a large degree. I think whatever this is, whatever moment we're in, I'm, I'm loath yet to call it a revival because... For me, that, that's something that suggests actually a real change of heart, people genuinely coming back to God and coming to faith. But I think, I think we're at the turning of that tide where a revival, yeah, of some kind could be on the cards. It might look quite different to the picture we have of revival historically in our mind, because I think this is a, a revival that's obviously going to use the tools of our culture today, YouTube, podcasts, um, social media, but I see hints that it's happening. I see, I see hints that there is this hunger happening. You're seeing it in some of these public intellectuals making very warm noises about Christianity. You're seeing it in some really interesting high profile people like Ion Hirst Yali, um, Russell Brand and others suddenly having these quite dramatic conversions to Christianity and suddenly turning their huge audiences onto the fact that there might be something to investigate here. And then what we mentioned earlier, I think there is rumblings in Gen Z. There's a kind of dissatisfaction with what they've been handed by their culture. And I just wonder if all of these things together, and whoever knows what other geopolitical things might might turn up in the mix, might be the kind of conditions under which, yeah, something like a revival happens in the West. I think it will be messy. And I think you only ever often see these things in hindsight. You can only really see what was what was true revival and what wasn't in hindsight. But I just feel like we're due for something. It feels like the winds changed, the, the tides turned. And yeah, so my, my hope and prayer is that, that any person who calls himself a Christian would, would lean into that and be hopeful and prayerful mm. that we would see our culture potentially transformed, even perhaps within our generation, who knows? 